develop a drug or COVID vaccine until that vaccine is developed. Researchers at UW are looking into treatment to try to fight it. Q13's Brian Flores joining us now with more on exactly what they're looking at. Brian? Yeah, David, pretty interesting study here. It's actually a two-part study. The first part of it, of the study, looks at whether a drug that is now available can help treat COVID-19 symptoms. And the second part of the study looks at who had it already and recovered and figure out any commonalities or treatments that will prevent this again. Now, the drug that they're looking at is called remdesivir. If it sounds familiar, it's because it was reportedly used to treat symptoms of the first patient in our state, a man in Snohomish County. It has also been touted by the president as promising, but keep in mind it is considered an experimental antiviral drug. It was first used as a possible treatment for Ebola, but to only limited success. The question here is, will it work for COVID-19? Well, leading UW's clinical trial is Dr. Hel Helen Chu, who is credited with the early detection of COVID-19 in our state because of a flu study that she was already conducting. It's an experimental antiviral that has been used in the past for other viral infections. It has no known specific ac action against coronavirus or COVID-19, but um, it's been tried in China, and uh, and now we're doing the, the clinical trial here in the U.S. to see if it may may help. Now, a second UW study will enroll adults who are positive for COVID-19. Those that are selected will give samples, which researchers will examine. And what they're looking at here is the immune response of those who recovered well compared to those who didn't, and then develop a profile for a possible vaccine in the future. And Dr. Chu says this study will last a few months, but in terms of a vaccine, she agrees with federal health officials that it will take at least a year. She also says in terms of cases that she has seen so far, she's surprised by how many people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s are getting this virus, and more importantly, how quickly it spreads. David, back over to you. All right, Brian.